Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a candy apple sweet holiday makeup, perfect for this time. And this video is in partnership with Joa Beauty, and they're exclusively at CVS. Joa means I like it in Korean, and it's a K beauty inspired makeup brand, and it's super affordable. Let's get started. With a clean face, I'm gonna go in with this Glow Activator Radiance Primer. Uh, it is such a nice, luxurious feeling primer. It just really coats the face and blurs out any imperfections and at the same time hydrates the face so you get that perfect dewy but still very, very uh, velvety feeling. Next up, I'm going with the cream contour palette. I'm using the salmon color in the color corrector section to sort of um color correct under my eyes i get a lot of darkness when i don't sleep well and also correct around my beard area it's really great for discoloration like that just blend it all out with a puff and it's super easy to blend i'm gonna go in with this lightweight foundation uh, by truly yours and i actually really really like this foundation this is probably uh, one of the best drugstore foundations i've ever used it's super lightweight um, very very hydrating formula and i would say it's like a buildable coverage so it's not like super full coverage but as you can see the coverage does build up next i'm going with the cool contour shade i'm just gonna start sculpting my face you can use a brush if you want a lighter um lighter pigmentation and if you want darker pigmentation go in with your fingers i also did around my nose and around my eye area just for some extra definition and it blends out so so easily don't forget to make sure everything is seamless because we want to aim for seamlessness just like john mclean i'm going in with this darker circle concealer and it's super lightweight and easy to blend and it comes with a puff so it's really really fast for application it's very hydrating as well i'm going in uh to highlight so it just like does everything faster i guess after you're done with that, don't forget to set everything with this powder. This selfie ready setting powder is sort of like an HD powder. It makes your skin look really, really airbrushed. And when you take photos, it's just very, very flawless. It fills in those pores, if you know what I mean. It's those kind of powders. Um, make sure everything is well blended. For the brows, I want to keep it simple. Just go in with this precision brow pencil. It has a spoolie at the end, so it's sort of like a two-in-one product. Um, you can use this brow pencil to create fine hairs. And I'm just going to go in with my natural brow shape for this season. Nothing too crazy. You don't want it to be too arched because I want a more natural, very friendly, kind of approachable look. For the eyes, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going in with the shade Cappuccino first, just to define all over the eyelid. Start from the end and line it towards the inner corner of the eyes, just to create sort of definition around the eye line. And after that, I like to build it around the edges to wing it out just a little bit more. I also apply it on the lower lash line and close to where the arch of, um, I guess my eyebrows start. Um, just to define everything a little bit more grabbing the darkest shade in the palette i'm gonna go ahead and line as close to the lash line as possible i want the effect of a, like a shadow liner and not a very very thick liner just to soften things up a little bit this will help your makeup look very very seamless and blended and fresh i'm gonna line the bottom lash line for some extra definition now on to lips. This matte gel lipstick is super lightweight yet it's so so pigmented. So this shade hubby is my perfect like nudie shade. It stays on all day. It applies like a gel but then it dries down to a very matte finish. This is only like one coat and a half and it's already really pigmented. And it's just very very comfortable on the lips as well. So the color payoff is great. It's, it's just super pigmented. All their lip products are amazing. Going in with this felt tip liquid liner, um, it's very simple to use. It's a pointed tip liner. You can go ahead and line your eyes to create a bigger wing if you want. I'm just going to line the waterline because I feel like that's all the definition I need after using the eyeshadows. This will create sort of a thicker lash effect versus a eyeliner effect. I'm also going to add some small bottom lashes on the bottom of my eyes. 
double O. Next up, I'm going in with this matte liquid lipstick, and it's also called Candy Apple. When I first thought about this look, I was like, I want to look like a candy apple this Halloween, ah, uh, this holidays, and uh, ends up I find up this lipstick is named Candy Apple, so it's perfect. It's actually really, really red if you apply on their lips, but I'm gonna blend it out to sort of create a cool pink tone to sort of mimic ripe apples. After you're done with that, you want to be careful with blending. By the way, um, apply some on the nose as well. You can clean it up with concealer and a powder if you apply too much blush in certain areas, um, because it is very very pigmented. And you want to spread it slowly. I'm going to line just the bottom side of my lips to give my lips a little bit more of like a pouty effect. Um, you can definitely cheat it with. A lip liner and it just creates shadows on the bottom of the lips um, so it looks like you're constantly pouting but you're actually not and don't forget to set the lips and the lip liner with a little bit more of that powder so it stays in place all day going with the highlighter palette I am going with this, uh, these pearl and sunbeam shades. I'm just going to mix it because I find that it's very flattering for my skin tone. I'm just going to apply it on the, just the apples. Haha, <laughs> get it? Candy apple. The apples of my cheeks um, just to create some shine and wherever you need it, honestly. And to create that like dewy glow without the gloss, I'm going to dot my finger into the highlighter palette and just dot um, highlighter. So this creates a look that it's actually like glossy, but it's actually just powder. And I apply it on the nose bridge and on my nose as well. Just a little dot. And it looks like in photos, it's just highlighted gloss. And after you're done with that, to add more definition to the face, I'm going in with this blush and bronze palette. It contains a blush and a bronzer, so it's super, super easy to carry. And I'm just going to grab the bronzing shade to just bronze up my entire face to add some more color. Grabbing the blush shade, I'm going to set where I applied the liquid blush earlier and also amp up the saturation just a little bit more. And after you're done with that, this is obviously optional. I'm grabbing the Precision Brow Pencil again to add some freckles. It's so fine that you can just dot someone there. And the liquid liner as well. Oh, by the way, the liquid liner is also waterproof, so you don't have to worry about your eyeliner smudging throughout the day. Next up, just a little bit of highlighter and blush just on the top of the nose. And you're done. This is the finished candy apple look using all Joe Beauty. I hope you like it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out Joy Beauty at CVS and I'll link them down below as well. The happy holidays guys. I hope you're all safe and happy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.